Hey, orange one here. So, uh, from what I remember, yeah, there's some goat folk coming our way. I just want to make sure that there's not any sowers following. They're going to mess up my day. Yeah, we're good. We can take this dude on. Yeah, we're just going to, I think, essentially kill goat folk and make our way over to, like, the fungal town or whatever. I, I, I've forgotten what it's called. The place with the walking plants. It's really cool. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, we didn't we didn't decapitate. I am honestly wait just waiting for a decapitation at this point. And these guys are gonna go down pretty quick. Oh, dude, these are really good. Uh, those are like really lightweight items, so they're perfect for just like being loot items, you know. Um, they're also not half bad if you're trying to go for like high dodge, but we're not. Like. <laughs> It would just not be something that would be good for our hands. This is honestly a better item for us. Spike gauntlet. So we could, we should be able to upgrade some of our gear pretty soon. I think we will as we kill goat folk slash find like the rare like legendary dudes or whatever they're they're called. Oh yeah, like what's that over there? That to me is oh it's a shaman. Okay, you can handle shaman. We got that. <clears throat> okay, that's uh, it's just inflator axons because why not? We got a couple goat folk here, and I am not looking to mess around. And uh, let's hook and drag him. Come with me, friend. Man, okay, you uh, you did actually a fair amount of damage there. Got handed to him. He's covered in spores, cleaved, bleeding. Yeah, friend, you're not gonna do too well there. Can I just kinda No, I can't get away from him. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, perfect. I was actually just saying how I needed some new gauntlets. Let's go ahead and switch those out. I didn't do that on the thing. Also, we should we don't need that on our right arm. Or this on our left arm. <laughs> kind of silly that I'm doing that. I haven't got anything real to put on the there though. Uh, let's just take some steps back because I think we need to recover and get some of our abilities back. Then we'll kill the shaman. Hello, shaman. How you doing there, buddy? No, no decapitation. Not yet. I bet we get it soon. I believe. I'm just gonna drag you around, make sure I get to somewhere that's a little bit safer. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, what? What is it that I just stepped in there? Uh, what? What is that? That's sugary blood. That's weird. Why is it sugary? <gasps> I wonder if we could cook with it. Uh, was I? I was gathering something there? There was a savage. They probably are coming my way then, right? Where are they? I, I know there is a savage around here somewhere. There we go. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're not getting any decapitations on these guys, unfortunately. Uh, tell you what, friend, I'm gonna just drag you over here a little bit. There we go. Not so bad. Um, okay. I do hate going through the forest at night. You know, honestly, it's kind of just not worth it. I kind of want to go to the overmap if I am not lost. I'm not sure if I'm lost right now or not. This is pretty cleared out, though. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, how are you all doing? This is gonna be fun. Uh, let's not dismember. Let's just kill these guys for now. Oh, uh, what's this right here? Stun gas. I don't know what's going on there. If they're getting hurt by their own gas or something. 
I think that's what just happened. I kind of like being this like fungal spore thing. It seems to be have a nice way to mess these guys up, kind of make them not want to go after me as much. Yeah, we we are just destroying these guys. <laughs> There you are. Here's here's the one that's gonna be the fun one. Um, inflate axons. Can I charge there? Oh, I must charge at least two. Okay. Uh, can I jump away then? Wait, what? What just happened? <laughs> Did it just break? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, uh oh. We have deflated axons right now. And we're kind of not in like tip top shape. Okay, I think that we got this guy though. Not gonna get that decapitation though. Um, you know, yeah, I think we'll just kind of do this here. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just wait here. Let's see what, what we got. What have we got? I'm excited. I think this might be... No, it's not a tribute level. Uh, we could get that. That's like not the most exciting, though. That, we're gonna... It's gonna take a while to get to that, but we're gonna want to save up some points for that. There was something that I kind of wanted to get. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I mean, that's kind of nice if we we're throwing, but we don't have any real throwing uh, weapons right now. Bah, 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 bah. What about endurance? That might be kind of nice for us. I don't know. What's, uh, what's these? Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, we could go with staunch moons. Uh... Yeah, having some basic abilities to heal might be good. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to do that or not. We could go and get some basic tinkering. Let's get basic tank tinkering. Let's get dis disassembly. Yeah, I'm doing it. We're human living in an apocalypse. It's okay. We can we can have some uh, basic tools. I want it to be like a simple axe man, and we will be for the most part, but, you know, a simple axe man, I think can have like some like vibro blades or magma filled uh, chem cells. Why not? Uh, not gonna give me the Decapitate. It seems like it's a pretty rare thing. Let's go ahead and just have a little fire. Yum. Okay. Um, what, what else could we do? I'm trying to think. Like, I think, really, I, I want to go to the Mushroom Village, but now that it's day, let's go ahead and see what we can do to actually walk there on foot, because I am digging doing some of this combat, and it's, as you can see, we're getting good experience from it and like if you're at a good level and you're feeling relatively safe it's you know it's okay yeah i am going to kind of stick near the edge because i kind of learned this actually from cogmind and watching them there with these types of games it's good to stick near edges just in general that way you're gonna get jumped less essentially. So I can just kind of take these dudes out here. And then potentially I could go up to the other side here. Okay, yeah, this has got some... This is like a river tile, which is kind of like easier for us to be going through. Like less dangerous. But then again, less dangerous means less combat and less experience. And if we can kill these Naptali guys and get experience, I'm gonna do that because there's a lot of them. Take that, dude. Oh, the blowgunner actually took a couple hits there. Congratulations, dude. Impressed. Let's see what else have we got. Um, 
Got another one. Okay. See, these dudes are just like... They just don't even stand a chance. <laughs> okay, I think that I'm pretty happy with that for now. I think it's good enough. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, that is a monkey. Which probably... Oh, hello. Is that what I think it is? Let's get the lock on. Yeah, it's a sewer. Can I just back up a little bit and reload? There you are. I gotta just make sure he doesn't get that grenade on me. Because he's about to throw it. Oh god. It's just kind of... Uh, up here. He won't find me up here. Oh, is that him? Oh, I think he just threw a grenade. Did he kill himself? Oh, dude, I think he might kill himself. Yeah, here's his seed. <laughs> oh, he's got greased boots. Um, okay, that's I've not seen that item. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Um, more carbide. Absolutely, I'll take that. Carbide is pretty good loot for us at this point. I wouldn't mind some better stuff, though. We'll, we'll probably run into, like, some rare people soon. Hello. There might be, like, a goat village. There usually is, like, goat villages somewhere in these woods. I'm not gonna inflate the axons just yet, because we don't really need to. Oh, wow, this dude did some damage. Respect. Okay, we are actually getting near our, our carrying capacity, so maybe I should uh, get a move on. I don't see any more sewers. There is someone right there. Why don't y'all come over here? Oh, there's actually two of them. Oh, hello. That dude just like straight up went super fast. Get a flurry on him. And I am going to hook and drag you over here. And now there's salty bloody trash. Oh, he's attacking a slumberling. Good luck with that. And that looks like a sower. Maybe the sower can attack the slumberling? I don't know. Things are getting a little crazy over there, if you ask me. Is that thing asleep? It's badly wounded. It is asleep. Uh, I'm not hitting it. <laughs> How many bullets do I have? Eh, I got 15. It's kind of that sore looks like it's. Yep. Oh, it. The, yep. The sore got him. <laughs> Why don't you come over here, Sower? Come into the opening. Uh, he... He's got a blood-stained weird artifact. Uh, can I... Jump in? I He might throw a grenade at me here. I don't know. And then... Charge him. I think... Yeah, cool. That kind of worked. I don't think they throw grenades if you're in melee range. That's another option with these dudes. Uh, yeah, let's see what your weird artifact is here. Oh, bounding boots. That would be really nice if I didn't have, like, fungal feet. Let's, uh, see if that bleeding will just stop. I think it will, yeah. There we go. We're fine. We still have like 15 something bullets in our sniper. Let's just see. Yeah, I knew that there was gonna probably be like daggers and stuff like around here. See, this is why you clear out areas. Like, you let them kill each other and then you're, go you're golden, you know? Uh, let's see. Now I'm getting a little nervous because it's night again. I think I might go to the overmap. Yeah. Let's go to the overmap. I'm oh I'm lost. Oh jeez, that's not good. 
Okay, I've regained my bearings. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I'm really actually quite close. Oh, I'm lost. you got to be kidding me. I literally went one over. I got lost. That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> not, not good luck there. Old Chip Chop. Cutting his way through this uh, forest. Okay, there we go. There are hostiles nearby, really. I think that's like just the world, isn't that? I think that's just a given. Okay, here we go. This is the place I was talking about. Kayuka. Kayuka? I don't know. Wait, what? His weird artifact just blooped. Uh, what's your artifact there, buddy? Um, he's just... yeah. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's blooping. I don't know if that's healthy, but it doesn't seem to be. Hello, so this is the dude that's in charge. If you want to read it, here's the text. This is all about the people who like live in this village. And yep, yeah, no work. Okay, or oh, there's a little bit of work. Um, I don't want to upset him. Yeah, but. Yeah, whatever. Goat folk variety. Whatever, I don't really care about that. Intimidate would be kind of nice to learn, but we don't have enough uh, bonus with these dudes. You can get, like, essentially free skills from people like that if you water rit ritual them. Did I water ritual you? Uh, that's actually just look at you. I didn't do that with the other one. Villagers of Hamor. Eh, you just beat them at dice. Seems fine. Can't get too offended, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I could uh, learn cooking and gathering. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I. that is actually a good skill. It gives you so many bonuses. Like, honestly, I'll, I'll show off like the um, a little bit of what I mean. And because we have the butchery thing, we're gonna have so many ingredients to work with. <laughs> Ingredients that would not be the most common for other people, but I think will be common for us. Like goatman feet or something, you know? Um, where is it? I, I think we want to get a little bit of lore by looking at this. No, it doesn't really. Okay. There is, I think, someone in here that we want to trade with, though. I know it seems strange, but you see this plant here. I'm talking to them. Okay, friend. I think you guys don't like me. Um. Oh, they got some. They got some stuff in here. Uh, what was the other small stone that we got? Something actual use, actually useful, wasn't it? Oh man, Taco Supreme. I remember that. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna see what I can get rid of and what you'll give me for that, and then we'll see what I, I want to get from you. The portal be beehive is kind of nice, but I've got this other thing that I kind of want to use for now. Uh, take one of those. I kind of want to keep the others. I'll, I'll actually probably equip them. Oh man, we actually have quite a bit of carbide stuff here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I think that we can we can afford a good amount of stuff here, so we can afford 300 worth. I thought there was a oh look at that that and that 250. Um, I mean I'm gonna end up with a lot of leftover water here, so maybe I'll take some bullets off of you, and I don't know, maybe I could take scrap because we'll be using it soon i'll take the copper nuggets off of him and sure i'll take i'll take those off you too thank you oh i'll have to wait hold on i'll have to point up 43 i have so much money right now actually yeah uh yes why do i have so much money oh no i have zero drams hold on what's my money then 
I thought drams was money. <laughs> Isn't it? Like what? Why is it that it's saying that it's my... Because I, I thought... Hmm. Yeah, I have, I have water. Okay, so I've got actually tons of water. I've got too much water, really. Okay. Not the worst problem. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I did not know that that was in-game. That's kind of new, I think. A compass bracelet is kind of nice. I'm going to equip it because it will make us get lost less and we don't have anything better. So that's kind of nice. We can teleport between our, our three places. So uh, real quick, before we do any of that tele fancy teleporting, let's go over here and let's preserve our foods. Yep. Oh, that harmonica. You got to love it. Uh, let's choose some... Bear jerky. And I don't know. Yeah, fine way for sheaths sheets. I think that's that gives you like health, right? Oh yeah, that's that's pretty nice. So we can drink water. So if we make ourselves drink water, we'll heal. So Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can draw the attention of something. What is... Is there light over here? Oh yeah, there's like a fire over here. Can I fight someone? I want to get hurt. Fight me. Okay, these guys, they seem to be set on punching each other. It's kind of weird there's a bunch of gorillas outside the town that's run by gorillas. Uh, let's inflate these axons and just mess this dude up. Okay. Oh, hold on. Just, just drag you over here a little bit. Don't mind that. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you? A shaman. You want to... Jam, man? Oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't do this. Seems like a bad idea. I'm dipping. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't mind me. Okay, that. Okay, now that the other dude's kind of like preoccupied with the the monkeys, I think that we got the shaman. Yep. Let's take this guy out too, just cause. It's gonna dip over here. Are you attacking me, man? I thought we were friends. Um. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the other one's coming for me. Y'all asked for it, man. Didn't want to do this. Oh, hold on. I thought we were friends. Um, let's see. What do I have at my disposal? Nothing really. Great. This could be bad. I think I got them, especially with that, the spores. Yeah. Let's just kind of take a step back, and he won't go through those spores. Not if he can help it. So I just need to... <laughs> He's taking damage from the spores yet. Come over here, man. Just try. <laughs> that is that is kind of nice. I like that. A nice little distancing mechanic. Let's uh, get ourselves dismember. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Can I cook with this stuff? I think I can. I, I just want to see if I can. But maybe I should quick travel to. Uh, let's let's just go back down. Let's go and let's look at our recoilers. Cause we really have plenty of cash right now. 
or water, I should say. We're, sorry, I just totally spaced out. Recoiler, yes. Okay, um, this one. Install the solar cell and activate. And here we are, back at the Grit Gate. Another good trading hub. This person usually has some pretty good stuff. See, they got some spectacles and some artifacts, like very valuable ones too. Uh, this one has a <clears throat> a small trinket that I'm not familiar with. That makes me curious. This is probably like a grenade, I think. Probably not worth it. You know, it's worth checking. They can have some good stuff. I don't think I really want any of this though. Okay. Live and let drink. I'm gonna go and actually... Uh, yeah, right, there's no way out up out of here. We're gonna have to... Um, let's just teleport out. Why don't we go... Take that out. And then let's maybe go to Joppa. I don't know. I think it's all destroyed. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see if it is. Yeah, this is the the alternate reality. Where Joppa's just like a ruin. There's nothing here. Just like noob zone, basically. Hostiles nearby? Really? I don't think that counts as a hostile. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we'll... Maybe, I don't know. Oh, I wanted to do the cooking with the arm. Oh wow, there's like a sour going crazy over there. Where's the arm? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What exotic goods do I have? Nope, none of that's happening. Hello, sower. How you doing over there, buddy? Aw. Oh. Okay. I see how it's gonna be. Okay, um, okay, I think I can charge that? Nope, I can't charge that. Can I jump within no bomb range? Oh, jeez. Oh my god, I hate you. Um, uh, okay. I think we're okay, though. I kinda got him. Yeah. Didn't stand a chance. I mean, he did, actually. Kinda messed me up, to be honest. <laughs> Where is your buddy, though? I know he's coming. I saw him walking over. I thought... Maybe not. <laughs> Goat folk man. Yep, he's actually right here now. Okay, let's inflate my axons. He just kind of walked up on me. I kind of hid behind a bush there. That worked actually pretty nicely. I didn't think it was going to work out like that, but it did. Why don't you come with me? Uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, look at that. I am going to look at that. And I'm gonna equip it. You kidding me? That sounds like a pretty dope weapon. Like, honestly. Okay, we're safe over here. Why don't you come over here, buddy? And we'll do what we do best. And no decapitations. I'm getting a little bit upset. I feel cheated. I feel like maybe I need a better item to get him or something. Oh, hello. Just arrived in, just in time. Uh, 
I don't know, does the hook and drag give you any advantage besides moving them? Like, is that the advantage? Does anyone know? You're still watching? Um, yeah, rest up. My sweet prince. Chip chop. Uh, let's see. I guess that wasn't a recipe that I used earlier. Oh, look, Albino Ape's right arm. There we go. Wait, well, hold on. Eater's Nectar? What? Okay, so we got boosted HP for a little bit. See, that's why you want to get the cooking skill. Now, if you can get the recipes as well... Oh, man. it's That's pretty nice when you can get that going. When you make your own custom recipes, it's a pretty nice uh, ability. Because you can make all these abilities that you just activate. There's spells. There's spells. Whenever you want. <laughs> you just need to get the ingredients. Alright, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.